Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at a store that has done 571 sales on Etsy yesterday. Yes, just in one single day. And this is the 80th biggest store on Etsy yesterday in terms of sales. Now, how did I know that? Well, I actually checked out here on E-Rank. If you have the E-Rank app, it's super, super cheap. It's a nice research tool for Etsy. Well, in here, you can come to Etsy shops with the most sales yesterday. So if you're looking for shops, you're looking for inspiration of stores that are currently definitely doing well. Obviously on Etsy, we can see the number of sales a store has, but that doesn't mean that they're currently doing well right now. That could have done really well in the past but aren't necessarily doing well now whereas this we can see this store did these sales yesterday and i am currently filming this on the sunday after black friday so obviously this is a big major sales weekend for any store so these are going to be bigger numbers than their average but we can take a look at everything else so we're going to jump in take a look at this store look at the products that they're selling they sell digital products only in a niche that i never even really knew existed but i'm going to be showing you in this video how you can go out there actually buy these digital products or source someone to create these digital products for you then you can sell them on etsy now don't get me wrong the person who runs this store looks like a designer their store is beautiful the products are beautiful it looks really really nice but let's take a look see exactly you know what they're doing how they're doing it and how you could potentially do it as well so let's jump in the first thing i'm going to do is just jump in and we're going to take a look at their store now guys if you do enjoy this hit the like button hit subscribe if you're new here we're going to jump in the store is called brush and barley really cool store based out of the usa so if we click into it here in e-rank we can get some more information you can see here they've done 134,000 sales in total so just a massive store in general their average sales per day are 90 which is huge in itself obviously but their biggest day or their one of their biggest days 571 sales yesterday black friday was actually probably bigger uh, as well and they've been around for four years so if we jump into the actual store here so what these guys actually do is they create tools and packages and journals for an app called procreate now, i believe procreate is an app on the ipad where people can come in they can design stuff they can create different brushes all of that fun stuff. So in here, you can see their store looks amazing right off the bat. Again, 134,000 seals. Everything just has a really nice look to it, which makes you think this person is a designer, which obviously if you're selling fonts, you're selling different brushes, makes a lot of sense. So if we take a look here and we jump in, a lot of the products, very, very you know cheap. They're one pound, four pound 71. A lot of them are a pound. Now this could be a little bit cheaper this weekend because it is Black Friday. So it might be slightly more expensive in the rest of kind of you know the year so what they do they sell brushes they sell fonts that people can use inside this procreate tool over here and procreate again if we look at it here we can see that it's primarily an ipad app and people use it to create art right they're creating digital art obviously right now there's probably actually a boom in this niche specifically due to nfts and when nfts have blown up more people i would imagine now i'm not sure of the percentage like what market share what percentage of market share nfts are taking up off this but i'd imagine there's definitely an increase of people trying to do this trying to draw learning to draw wanting to learn you know this looks amazing this guy's drawing right here i wish i could do that i can't i'm not as talented as these people but it looks amazing so obviously when you're drawing when you're doing anything you guys have seen me use photoshop to create different types of products sometimes we have to use a specific type of brush so that's exactly the solution the product that these people are providing right here you can buy all of their brushes or like any of their brushes here a single one 127 this is this nice font here you can see how the brush looks and they're actually using you know the ipad the apple pencil uh to use it to draw so this one's obviously like a nice fat chunky sort of line if we come back in we scroll down a little bit you're going to get different styles so this one right here is a neon one if we click into it you'll see how it looks when people are drawing and then people can come in they don't have to figure this all out on their own they don't have to figure out how to create this from scratch they can just use this pre-made template brush so really really cool product and just makes a lot of sense that's why these people get so many sales now obviously they've got a really high sales volume but a very low or average order value but it doesn't mean they're not making a lot of money on this the next thing i want to do is show you how you could potentially go ahead and sell these and then after that we'll take a look at how much this store makes so if you wanted to do this and you're not an artist how could you go about it i think there's probably a gap in this niche there's not many i haven't seen many stores selling procreate specifically brushes and this is cool this is where like small niche markets pop up that you wouldn't even think about unless you're kind of in the niche and it's actually how i found the niche for my blog which is 
kind of really blowing up now we're starting to get a lot of traffic and get a lot of traction with that because it's just a niche that i was using that probably not a lot of people would think of themselves without being in that niche and i'm sure that's how this type of story here started but we can see it from the outside in and roughly estimate how much money they're making and see that there's probably potential in the niche so we can come over here if we wanted to do this take a look on fiverr and see if we can find someone who'll create these brushes for us now you may also want to go somewhere like upwork we're probably going to get a little bit of a higher end talent you could also potentially go to something like behance and find people who are doing similar work and ask them to create them maybe partner with them we can see here there is people and it's fairly low on fiverr as well which is probably a good thing that shows there's not that much competition here but it's a fairly low amount of people actually creating these brushes for you uh it might be a good thing because you can come in here and give them a lot of work at cheap prices because they just want the volume um, but if we take a look in here you can see this person will do seven color brushes for 3.99 so i will make custom brush set and procreate for you mostly i make sketching and coloring paint brushes but we can discuss other options too so you can come up with the ideas you can be the idea person person and say hey i want brushes for this i want watercolor brushes i want neon brushes can you create these for me and hopefully you know you find somebody who's actually good at creating these and you can get some cool looking products and then you can go ahead upload them to etsy and sell that file that people can go ahead buy load it into procreate and then they can use your brushes so they don't have to go out there and do the hard work of finding these people to create the brushes for them if they don't know how to do it themselves so let's take a look at this one 393 uh this one here moronically i think that was actually i see that that's the name of the person right so moronically shitty plot want your logo as a stamp brush so you can quickly create custom social media graphics maybe you need a pr particular brush to go finally finish your amazing digital artwork so this person can create brushes a little more expensive here one brush 393 five to eight brushes is 12 pounds 12 pounds right so you could literally go out there you can see that this person sells these for 1.27 very very cheap I would start a store, I would come over here to Fiverr, and hopefully, you know, these people are good. I would test multiple Fiverr people. I would test these out, and I don't know if this is this is going to work. I don't know if this is a niche that would pop off, but I think it's worth trying for someone out there who wants to do it, who has the time to do this. 1180, buy eight brushes, buy 16 brushes, 24 pounds, $35, right? Buy 24 brushes, or buy 16 brushes, upload them to your store upload them to etsy as different brushes make sure you've really nice templates looking nice presenting them really well if we look at this store they present everything beautifully i think this is actually maybe actually taken on her you know carpet or something like that this again as well looks like it's taken on her carpet or else she's designing them and then just you know, she took a photo and overlaying that but you can see here they've just used the font use it in a nice way ask a designer maybe hire another designer to use your brush in a nice way and then go ahead and upload them test it out i would run etsy ads to it pretty hard for a week and see how that turns out again i'm not sure it might not work at all i could be completely off base with this but these people have done 135,000 seals and i don't know how many other people are is doing it let's actually take a look right so let's do a look on here and search for procreate brushes this might be a massive niche that i just don't know about at all so let's take a look 1285 program brush pack right here so these are all ads up at the top this one looks really nice definitely stands out to me but a lot of these stores have huge reviews right this one here 428 procreate brushes i don't know if that's the best way to do it right whenever i'm looking for something uh when it's when it comes to designing yes it's nice to have these packs right the ultimate bundle it's nice to have them and people probably buy them once but when i'm looking for something specific i don't want to like buy a bundle and like fish through it i want the specific thing that i need especially if i'm only paying a couple of dollars for it just buy it and use it i think it's a better option we can see here th this store that we were looking at isn't even showing up like in the top for procreate brushes you know none of these are brush uh the store that we were looking at lots of ads here uh so i think there's we got fabric ties different things you could do as well right it's, it's other templates that you could add in uh it doesn't just have to be brushes but there's quite a few people looks like they're doing this but i still think this is worth a shot just because it's so cheap to actually create the thing create the product and then you can sell them digitally i really don't think there's much to lose uh neon brushes these ones look really really cool right here but a lot of these stores have a lot of reviews right they're doing pretty pretty well so i think this is a cool niche let's take a look at how much our store over here has made so let's do an estimate i would say that the majority of their product sales are coming uh, from these specific 
brushes right these specific brush strokes they do have other products on here that are more expensive 16 pounds uh these are actually like this is the most simple product i've ever seen but it makes a lot of sense right this is the most simple product here that i've probably ever seen but it makes a lot of sense because i know i'm not good at this when it comes to setting up a website or designing a product I'm not good at putting colors together that look good together. I just don't have the eye for it. This person obviously does, and they're selling that as their talent, as their product, and that's completely fine. And these look great. You can see here, 71p, it's a dollar to buy this. It's just colors, right? If you have a good eye, you can put colors together as a, you know, swatches as a color palette for someone's brand. Someone can buy this and use it for their brand, right? And they can use that color palette. They can have that on their brand identity and use it into the future, use it on their website, right? It's well worth a dollar. And this person just put it together because they know what colors look well together, what kind of colors go good together. Such a simple product. People love it. Uh, you can see here this person's using it to make like Instagram graphics in Canva. So that's really, really cool. That's actually really, really smart just to buy this and then be able to use it as your palette uh, inside like Canva or Photoshop uh, to make sure that everything looks the same. It looks on brand when you're doing stuff. Really, really cool product. So let's go ahead and say their average order value in the store is, there's obviously a lot of stuff out of point here. I'm going to say their average order value is $2.50. Uh, I'm thinking that right now there's probably a Black Friday sale on charging a little bit more. I could be wrong on that, but they do have a lot of, uh, you know, higher price products here as well, where they're selling bundles. This one, 27 pack. Uh, let's take a look and see specifically how many people have bought this. So this one has a hundred reviews just for this one single item. So there's definitely, uh, you know, people buying the, the bundles. So let's say their average order value is $3 right here. Let's open up our trusty calculator. It's a pretty easy sum to do. Uh, let's take a look. 134,000 sales, 134,000, 938 sales right here times a simple three, $404,814 selling these great looking brushes. I do have to say, I love the look of this, this girl's store. I think it looks amazing. I like the colors. Everything about it says professionally done. It looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, I love it. I love what they're doing. I think it's a really cool niche. Uh, they're absolutely killing it. Definitely the biggest kind of store, the one that's doing uh, you know the best right now. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a cool store. I thought it was worth sharing with you. They did really well over the weekend in kind of Black Friday. Obviously probably going to do well coming in the Cyber Monday as well. So all the best. I hope they make an absolute ton of money. I hope you guys made a ton of money over the weekend as well. I will have an update coming uh, this week at some stage on or in the next week on my, my blog. Really took off this month, doing really, really well. So we're going to update you guys with that. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure and hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you're new here. My voice is squeaky because I'm still sick as a dog, unfortunately, this weekend. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do all that fun stuff. Check out one of these videos. I'll see you guys soon.